In this video, I'll be showing you a fun and easy way to make eye cords. And that's by using this Embellish Knit Automatic Spool Knitter. So this kit comes with your spool machine and it has its little lever. It has a weighted clamp to hang on the end of your eye cord to help pull it down through your device. It comes with a little bit of yarn so you could start right away when you buy it to try out your eye cord maker. It comes with a tapestry needle and it comes with an instruction booklet with different ideas that you can use once you've mastered the eye cord maker. And once you learn how to use this device, you can make eye cords like this. And it's super quick, really easy, and very fun. You can use most yarns. You just have to make sure they fit through this hole here, and they're not too big once you think of the four stitch cord. So it just has to fit through the center and this little hole. So you can do most lightweight yarns, some bulky ones, but not too thick. So to begin your eye cord, you want to take your yarn and you're going to feed it through this hole right here. Then you'll have this groove right at the top and you're going to lay it over that and down the center of the device. and you want to feed it through until it comes out the bottom. Once it comes out the bottom, you want to hold on to the yarn up near the top somewhere because we're going to clamp our weighted clamp onto it and it'll pull it down if you're not holding on to it. So you just want to put your clamp onto your yarn and it'll pull it tight and this is what's going to help our eye cord come down evenly. So once you have that, you always can tug it back up And before you begin, you want to look at all your little pegs, and if they're closed, like this one right here, you want to take your needle that comes with your kit, and you want to push the latches open. You want all your pegs to be open. Now, on the side where your handle is, there will be an arrow. And you always want to crank it backwards, away from yourself. So when working this, you want to make sure that it is hovering and never laying down because you need your weight to help pull it down through the center. So you want to crank your lever until your first peg picks up your yarn. So this back peg has picked it up. Now you want to take your tapestry needle and pull your yarn over the second peg. We want to skip that one. We don't want that one to pick up the yarn at all. Then you're going to rotate so now your first peg is holding on to your yarn, your second peg is empty, and now we want to catch the yarn on our third peg. Then you want to take your needle again and you want to pull it over your fourth peg. And then you want to rotate and get your first peg back up. So now from here, you're just going to crank the lever. That's the only time that we need to skip any pegs. From here on, you'll just continue with all the pegs grabbing the yarn. So you just want to begin pulling. You want to rotate your lever. You'll see your pegs grabbing your yarn and it will begin making your eye cord. So you just want to start off slow until you get the hang of it and then you can speed it up to create your eye cord. And you always want to make sure that it's hovering because you need your weight to help pull down your eye cord. So as you can see right there, our eye cord is forming. So you just want to keep rotating until you get the length that you want. Here's a closer view and you can see how the pegs open and close, grabbing the yarn and creating your eye cord.
this is a lot faster than your normal way of making eye cords with either the double pointed needles or some of those um, those knitting bead kits with the crochet hook and stuff. So this you can get your eye cord done in no time and you can just zip through it and it is super fun. So then once your once your eye cord gets long enough then it will start coming out the bottom of your device. And now I'm going to show you how to finish off your eye cord. So once you get the length that you want, you're just going to cut your yarn and up here you're going to pick up your yarn so that the hooks do not grab it and you just want to rotate until your eye cord is free of all the hooks and then you're just going to pull it down the center. So now you just want to take the tail and attach it to your tapestry needle and the last loop that your yarn is sticking out of you want to go to the one next to it and you're just going to pick up the four loops of your eye cord. Then go through your final loop and pull tight and now you've closed off your eye cord. And that is how easy it is to make an eye cord with this knitting machine. So this is just your standard four ply medium worsted weight yarn. Here is a number three light um, baby yarn or like a sports yarn. And this is also the eye cord with the fuzzy fur yarn. So you really can use it with any type of yarn, except some might need a little bit more help than others. Like this fun fur, it just took a little while for it to catch, but once it did, then you got this nice eye cord. So I think this machine is great. I think this is the best eye cord one. Then just doing it with the double pointed needles I think is second. But if you make a lot of eye cords, I would suggest investing in this. It's not that much money, but it is definitely worth it. So I hope you guys like this. And if you have this or are interested in it, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.